Greetings. Today we return to talk about a very interesting topic, which is OSINT. Remember that in our training platform in the Academy, we have a complete OSINT course. In fact, today we will talk a little of the tools that we see in the course. When we do investigations of people, which is one of the issues that we often have to face. Well, we must have a methodology. In the course we teach that methodology, then you will have a series of mind maps as this one we are seeing, where it allows you to take the order of the investigation, the common thread of what you are doing. And well, normally when you do investigations of people, you usually have to look for information in many sites, in many places. Here we see in the mind map the methodology for people, for emails, for websites, etc. But today we are interested in the part of social networks, and within social networks specifically, Instagram, which is one of the social networks where people have greater amount of queries they want to make. Then, we're going to talk about a very interesting tool called InstaLoader. I like this tool because it is updated and allows us to do our work in a supremely simple way. So, InstaLoader is a tool that is on GitHub. We can install in Kali and allows us to download information such as images, videos, metadata, etc. So, then let's go to our Kali machine. I will leave the URL link in the description. As you can see, it was updated very recently. Last month, documents were updated. It's a tool that is not new, but it is updated. Then, to install it in our Kali. Simply, you have to execute the command installoader. In fact, if you do not have it installed, then, automatically, the Kali is going to ask you to install it. Then here I did it. Well, I am going to tell it installoader. If it is not installed, as I said, it will ask you to install. It will tell you, well, run sudo apt install. You could simply say sudo, sudo apt install installoader. It will ask you for the password and already tells us that installoader is installed in the latest version, the 411 Ds. And there are the packages that are updated at once, etc. Then we would already have the installoader tool there. If you have to install it, then, you know, this is the command that you're going to use. Perfect. Then, let's say you are going to look for the social network profile of someone specific. Then, well, let's come back here. How to find it. How to know it. Well, in the course, we also explain some other techniques. The simplest one is that you say, for example, use a Google dork to do that search. You can say, for example, site Instagram.com, right? And then the name of the person, some specific feature that helps you to find Instagram accounts related to that text string you're going to search. For example, if we were talking about Messi or I do not know. Jessica Sediel, or some character like that. Well, we could tell you, for example, Messi. Then, Leo Messi here. We have the Instagram of Leo Messi. Obviously tells us at once, the more known the personality, then much easier to find. Obviously. Let's say we had to make a research about that account. Then, what do we need? Well, we need to gather information from images to be able to analyze metadata, etc. So we can see that it is Leo Messi. The handler, we could take a look at it. I'm not logged into Instagram on this machine, but well look, as you can see, it has 503 million followers. Lo Messi. So, let's do it with a more, more conservative account, because this one is going to take a long time. But, I will give you a quick demo, and then I will do it with my account. So, all we have to do is the following. Look in InstaLoader. When you run it, it brings up the help. Then it asks us, what do you want to search? Do you want to search the comments, the tags, the geotags, the stories, etc.? Or you can search absolutely everything. Then you can ask for the help, minus the help, of the insta loader. And then here, it gives us a little more information. Then even allows you to choose where you're going to download the information. Normally, it will do it where you are. You see, you can also put your username and password to log in. But with what we are going to do, we do not really need to log in. Then look at geotags. It will download them when they are available. 
so we can tell you minus geotags, right? Well, anyway, there are many, many more parameters. You can download the complete profile. See, let's try then, for example, we say installoader, geotags, space, leo, then important to see this if you want to download the geotags it asks us to log in to be able to download but it is still downloading information it is downloading information in json we can visit the folder where it's downloading this information i'm going to stop it because we are not really interested in downloading everything but look here we can see that created a directory called leo messi so in fact, I'm going to go here to Tools. And inside Tools, I'm going to visit the directory that Leo Messi created. So look here, we have information of the photographs. You have here some TX files that have information. Here in this one, it does not have more data. But well, look here, you have photographs that later you can review with additional tools. Like for example, we have already seen how to detect the geolocation of an image, for example, that we had already, we have already seen it then. For example, there are tools like the EXIF viewer, or if the EXIF viewer doesn't work for you at that moment, there is the Metapix also. We could check geolocation metadata, and you will see many services that offer you that information. So look, this is an online EXIF data viewer pick to map. Then we can pick a picture. Let's go to the tools that we have here. Well, we are in computer, in the home, in tools. We created the messy directory. And well, here is a series of images. We can take, take any of these. For example, let's see if suddenly one of these images has data. In this case, no. In this case, no. And remember to be able to download geotags, we have to. Log into Instagram is what it is telling us for the images or for the files that at some point you have the possibility to find geotags. You see? Then you have to log in with an account of yours. Important that you understand. As well as in the case of OSINTgram, normally you have to log in with an account of yours. Now then, we can try. You can keep looking here. What is there? Here are other text files. For example, look, there is no place where you can't play soccer. These are texts that appear inside Leo Messi's Instagram account. You see? And here, anyway, it downloaded a lot of information. A lot of information. The same as if we had done it minus, minus profile. I'll show you. Then here I can tell it, for example, InstaLoader, but for example, my Instagram of DF Pluck. Here I'm going to say profile. Look when you give the help or ask the help to the tool. There is a parameter that is the parameter profile. It is also the same in the help guide on the internet. Look at profile. Download the complete profile. See, then you can tell it profile and put the profile. Then what I'm going to do, Instaloader profile and then DF pluck and it creates a complete directory with the information. My profile is very small. We are just feeding it, so there is not much. Let's let it run. There are some errors at the beginning. Don't worry. There it is. So look, I'm going to open the directory again here. We have it here. Done. Then I'm going to go here to tools and over here it is, DF pluck. Look, there are the images text. There is multi-factor authentication. Another text here. One of the main recommendations. Do not share information and so on. As you can see, it is equivalent to what we did before. Only that the geotags, we have to log in to be able to download them. But we see profile information. You can download the images. You can search for information of these images. Remember that most of the times, the social network sanitize the images, then or any file you upload, the metadata will be deleted. But you can, for example, look for an image of the ones we find, for example, of Leo Messi, 
and cross it and search it on the internet in other places to see if suddenly that image, if it has geolocation somewhere else that is not a social network, then you can, for example, take an image like this, right? And you can use a tool like Google Image or Yandex, right? To be able to cross-reference the information. Then we are going to look for images. And by being able to cross-reference it, you suddenly find a site where that image has geolocation. Just a quick demonstration to see messy. Let's take this for example. Done. Perfect then. Here then. We can see similar images. Images. You can search it in Google. Being such a well-known character, obviously, you will be able to find information, then you can cross the data with the information that you can download from the Instagram account, from the profile where you are doing your research, is another tool that can help you in your leisure work. I hope you liked it. Take a look at the course on the training platform. It's a supremely complete course. It is very nice, very practical, so you will surely like it. As always, take care and see you in the next video.